I traded a short recap of my trading session today. I'm about to go long LVS. Now, why would I do that? Normally, you're very used to see me shorting stocks that are down 5% and expecting a gap and go. Why should I go long LVS? We're going to discuss that because not all trades are created equally. Now, take a look at the nice technical reversal here. I'm about to go long now. I'm long 4,000 shares. Just moved over this nice resistance. And if it's going to move over the highs, I'm going to add another 4,000 shares because moving over the highs is in fact a breakout and I expect it to continue. And now it's getting close to the highs. It's going to, if it's proving to me, again, proving to me that I was right, I'm going to add another 4,000. It's there now adding and now I'm long 8,000 shares. So why did I go long a stock that is down more than 5%? Well, it's because of the daily and we're going to discuss it real, real soon. Now, in the meantime, take a look at uh, LVS. That's a fast forward of what happened to LVS. It's moving higher. My target was uh, 37.60. I got there and I got I, I did get a little bit more than that, but it's moving up. I'm up $4,000, $5,000, $6,000. It's getting to my target. It's right there now. I'm about to sell 7,600 shares, sold, and I've got left 400 shares hoping and expecting a continuation. So now take another look at another stock, sister company of LVS, Win. I bought Win over $84. Again, I've got 8,000 shares uh, uh, long and I'm expecting a continuation. Win did not get to my target. My target in Win is somewhere over $85. It touched it, now it's going over and I'm getting ready to sell 7,600 shares and I'm about to click that button and take my partial in win. Over $7,000 in win, just took my partial and again holding 400 shares for the continued run. Now I'll go back. You are used to see me short gap and goes when the stock is down more than 5%, actually more than 3%, I would normally look for short. I did not do that, not in WIN and not in LVS. I was looking for longs in both and that's because of the daily. Now let's take a look at the daily. Moving to the daily of LVS, you can see that uh, the daily is very, very extended. The stock is down quite a lot. I mean, yesterday it came down 8%. I had a great opportunity to short it yesterday. I also shorted win yesterday. Today I'm going long. The reason I'm going long is because the daily is too extended to the downside, which means there will be buyers. Now I have been asked here in my trading room by some traders who uh, were thinking about maybe they should go long LVS, maybe they should hold it, maybe they should swing trade it. Well, that would be the wrong thing to do. You never ever catch a falling knife. You just don't do that. Yes, you can day trade it like I did today. It's likely to move higher today. That's why I bought it. The reason I'm buying it is really because of these people who think that they could swing trade it for a longer term, like a few weeks. They're normally wrong. I mean, more than 60% of the time, the stock will continue coming down. Yes, it could be the 30 or 40% of the time where it's going to continue moving higher. I just don't know. But the safe thing to do is to day trade it. So I found an opportunity buying it today because there's a lot of people who think they could catch a falling knife. Again, it is a mistake, but it's likely to move up today. It's not likely to continue moving for the next few days. Again, the stock is extremely extended to the downside. You could look for a long play. So although you normally short a gap and go over 3%, you do not short a gap and go over 3% like happened today with LVS and with WIN when the stock is down that much. I mean, on the daily. Yesterday it came down 8%, today another 5%. S stay on the sidelines. Nobody's forcing you to take a trade. Wait for an opportunity uh, where the stock looks like it's about to move higher and then maybe you could go long. I had a great opportunity in both of them today and I used it. So day trading it for the long side, fine. Swing trading it, <laughs> forget about it. Just don't do it. It's one of the worst mistakes uh, a, a trader could do or a swing trader could do. Now let's take another look at the intraday of LVS right now. Moving back to the intraday of LVS, you can see that, uh, well, it started by moving up and quite a bit. And at some point here, I was asked by some of my traders in my trading room whether we should short the stock right over here. Well, it looks quite interesting. The stock is relatively weak. It still is down today. It's red. Maybe we should short it. I mean, the daily looks terrible. But, you know, when you're thinking about uh, going longer stock like I did today and you set up your mind that you uh, believe for some reason that the stock is probably going to continue higher, don't change your mind intraday. Just don't do it. 
once you set up your mind, stop playing around. Don't start going long, short, all over the place. When you set up your mind, you think that the stock is likely to continue higher. Don't look for short opportunities because that will be just playing around. You want to have fun? Go ahead. Have fun. Do something else. We're here to trade. We're here to make money. It's our job to make money. We're here to, uh, to day trade the stock. And if you set up your mind on going long, you just go long. You just don't look for short opportunities in stock that you think that should move higher. And in fact, you don't only think that it should move higher. It proved to you that it wants to move higher. Now, take a look at the way it moved higher right over here. The way it moved higher proves you that you were right or I was right and it did go up and the stock is strong and somebody is buying it today. There's more people who are buying it than selling it. So why play around and start shorting a stock that is relatively strong? You know, when you think about a stock as a human being, maybe you should sometimes ask it, LVS, what do you want to do today? And the answer would clearly be, I want to move up. Do you want to short a stock that's telling you, like screaming in your face, look at the way it moved up, screaming in your face, I want to move up. No, you don't do that. Don't play around with stocks. Your job is to make money, then do it in the right way, the technical way and the professional way and look for longs. I'm still holding 400 shares, hoping it's going to continue coming up. Wind's doing the same. They all, they all look fine. And I'm with the trend of the stock. Keep to the trend, hold to the trend. That's the first rule in day trading. And now just a quick look at my results today. As you can see, I've got two fantastic winners today in Win and LVS. I do have a loser in Microsoft, so the end result is green. That's good. If you like this video so far, how about giving us a thumb up? I would really appreciate if you help us. Uh, it helps our channel. It helps more people like you enjoy day trading videos and learn a little bit more. And uh, if you want to subscribe, there's a button right here below. You can subscribe and click on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And plenty of links right here. You could have traded these stocks with us today. There's a free 14-day trial to our trading room. We share all of our picks. We trade together each and every day. And there's also our live YouTube channel, which you can join for free. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.